Hey everybody and welcome back to Koi Pod Lifestyle. So what have we got on this Christmas Eve's Eve? First of all, a big thank you to everybody who sent me those kind wishes with my man flu. Feeling a lot better now. Had a couple of weeks to get over it now. I made it through guys. I made it through. It was touch and go at one point. <laughs> so what have we got on this week? It's Christmas and it's blooming cold. Minus big minus numbers happening in and around England. Wow. Temperatures are like this, then like this, then like this, and then way down there on the floor. Unreal. So today, I'm just going to take a quick spin through filter system just to double check that everything is insulated. Because I've had some big minus numbers recently and everything seems fine, but I'm just going to go through and have a quick check of all the joints, quick check that all the insulation's there, and so on. So have a quick look at that. So I don't think we'll be seeing any of the fish today. They've all dove to the bottom now. The pond is literally three degrees. Wow, I think it's about 3.1. 3, 3 I pressed the button a minute ago, so 3.1 in the filter system. So it might be a little bit warmer in the pond, but not a lot. So say three and a half degrees. So we're gonna have a quick look at that today and then see what else happens to this beautiful, freezing cold day at Quipon Lifestyle. So let's crack on this way again. So we're going to we're going to have a look, quick look at the filters first, and just double check that I've got all my insulation on. So it's always an idea to keep an eye on your pipe work over winter because as your pipe shrinks, potentially, you know, you may need to just nip things up. Uh, where you've got little jubilee clips or however you bond it together. So it's always an idea just to keep an eye on your pipe work. In my filter system, I've got lots of the polystyrene that we've got on here. So we've got lots of this polystyrene in the doors, uh, all the way around. I've got it in the sides here. Uh, at the back of the filter system, it goes all the way down the bottom there. Uh, right the way across the back. And around the back of here. Now as you noticed, I've not I've not wrapped these up this time because this whole box is so well insulated. I was I took I took the risk this year to see how well this doesn't freeze. So we've had minus eights and minus nines. No frozen water in them, so I'm, I'm quite confident now that I, I used to wrap these up every year, just take them off, wrap them up. I mean, I suppose I could take them off and, and empty it, I suppose, but if I want a quick top up over winter, then what's the point? So I'm, I've left these this time to see how it's gone because everything is insulated all the way around it. Even the garage is just there, and the garage has its, has its, has its fire on quite regular through winter as well. And if you notice, Steve, I've not even, I've not insulated any of these pipes either because this box is so well insulated that I don't think there's a need to be honest. Um, as you can see, I've no filter floss on now. The filter floss, I've, I've removed all that now, so I'm not gonna bother with any filter floss. Uh, as you can see, the air's not on either, so we're still not doing any air. Which seems to be working quite well. That's 40 watts of power that I'm not using. So at the moment, I'm only using an 80 watt pump, water pump. Everything else is turned off. So I'm still doing the, the, the air. Now, yeah, I've always said I was gonna look at doing, finish up getting my air done and off for more than 12 hours of the day. So I've managed, I believe, uh, next year, I'm getting hold, I'm gonna try and get hold of a, a, one of those dead trendy oxygen meters. Those ones that are quite expensive, the, the top of the range ones. Um, somebody that I know said I might be able to borrow one for a, a weekend. So I'm going to see if I can get hold of that in January. I can't get to the moment, he's, he's busy with it at the moment. So I'm going to see if I get hold of that in January and then I'm going to do some tests of the 12 hour air on, 12 hours air off, and then 24 hours air off and see how the change is because the water is so cold at the moment. And with the water being so dense and holding more oxygen, so it may even come down to the point where I just put the, the air pump on a couple of times a week. 
So I don't know. I've had loads of different comments on this. Some people saying, yeah, great, never turn mine off. I think there was a comment that was like sticking a bag on on your fish head that you can't breathe. <sighs> Not sure about that. Anyways, it's called Pond Lifestyle. We're going to try a few things and then I let you guys know how it goes and what happens afterwards. Also, you can see there, I've, I've not taken off my UV. Some people were saying, yeah, you've got to empty your UV and take it out because it'll break. Um, I beg to differ on that one. I've, I've covered it over in, in a load of bubble wrap. It's within the insulated box as well. And there's moving water through it. So I don't think that'll crack and break. Uh, this is my second, no, this is my third winter now with leaving the UV in just covering it in bubble wrap, water's flowing through it, so that's not gonna freeze um, too quick, unless the power goes off. Well, you know, I don't know. It's not happened yet, so we'll, we'll see how that one goes. And even my little seating area. Here, that joins from the pond, so of course the water comes sort of in and out of, of the same areas. Even under here is insulated. Same thing, got loads of insulation on the top, the sides, and the back. Uh, and also put some big bags of, of insulation bits in there. So there's bin bags. This thing is full of bin bags of insulation as well. So all this is covered as well. And you can see you've got some insulation in the bottom there for the pipe, the, the pipe work as it goes back in. And then we've covered this up as well with the um, protective pipe work and I've even put another top on it. So I think we're pretty much covered on pipe work. Uh, I've just had, I've had a look through, there's no leaks anywhere, so I just do sort of random checks sort of every other day, just have a quick wander around it, have a look and see if there's any little drip marks or... But so far so good. Covers are holding up well. You know, there's loads and loads of freeze on the covers. Um, you now these things are covered in... covered in ice at the moment, which is good, because that's fine. Uh, nothing in the water whatsoever, no ice in the water at all. Uh, I'm still using my cover on the glass as well because um, the last thing I want is any kind of expansion of water in, in the pond itself and then expanding onto the glass and putting any pressure on the glass. So I didn't want that, but these, so these are working really well. These are stopping the snow getting in, stopping the water freezing and stopping any wind chill. So these things are doing the business for me. One thing I did spot, I mentioned last time I talked about covers, we talked about the balls you can put on. I think it was Irish Geordie Coy or Geordie... Irish Koi. I don't remember, but I'll put a link or, or no, I'll, I'll put a link to his video in there because he did a he did a cracking job with how he placed a lot of the the polystyrene, not the polystyrene, those those little balls uh, into his pond. Cracking idea there. Really looked nice and neat. It looked, looked like it was it was effective. So I don't know. Maybe that's one for the future. I don't know. Got to buy them though, haven't you? Mm, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, have a look at the link below because Irish, Irish Geordie Coy, or is it Geordie Irish Coy? Can't remember. Anyway, I'll find his link and I'll put it in the thing below. Right, I suppose I better get these presents opened. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Two Koi Pond Lifestyle. Try this and maybe save some electric. Santa. Look what I got. So this might come in handy to try to save a bit of electric. If you look on Keeping It Koi, Jamie at Keeping It Koi did a video on these and apparently are working really well. It's a very electrical, very plug. So you plug it to electric, you plug whatever you're gonna stick in it and then you can turn down the electric or turn it up or whatever. So this, yeah, interesting. I think Jamie put it on his, on his, air, air, on his air supply to his pond, but I'm gonna try this somewhere else. I might try this on my main pump. Because if I'm looking at reducing my air down to nothing, which I've got to test yet, I haven't tested it, it's quite on last, I've got to do that big test yet. But if that works, then I might try this on the main pump. And then my remaining 80 watts that I've got running into the pond at the moment, I might be able to halve that to 40. So I will be able to run my whole pond on 40 watts. But I've got to test a lot of things first, because I've always said, I'm only going to make these changes if I don't affect the health of my little fishes back there. So thanks, Santa. Nice one. Hmm, last one. Two Koi Pond Lifestyle. Saw you were running low on this, so I thought, fuck, he needs some more. 
<laughs> and there it is. I was actually running quite low on this. Uh, my favourite water conditioner. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you, Santi. Yeah, so I can't stipulate how important it is to get everything insulated. I've been watching some some videos on YouTube and on Facebook of, of people, bless them, that d this cold snap just caught them off, off guard or what, I have no idea. But yeah, there's a lot of frozen pipes out there, frozen ponds and frozen bits and pieces. So by all means, you know, get out and, and check your pipe work out and make sure that everything's nice and uh, insulated or covered. I know I used to have a, I used to have a sealed one of those sealed filters and I used to just cover that in blankets about 10, 10 or 15 blankets because I had no proper insulation so just cover it in loads of old blankets and then and then a big wheelie bin bag you know to cover a big wheelie bin bag to keep it kind of dry as well and see so yeah, there's so many different ways you can insulate your, your pond and your filter system and your pipes but it's just dead important to do it if it catches you off guard guys then you're cream cracking because you know even though it'll freeze up, but then you don't know what it's done to your pipe work. So all of a sudden when it thaws and everything starts leaking and your pond starts acting, oh man, it's nightmare stuff. So I always check on my pipe work, make sure that everything's insulated and still working and, and it's not going to be susceptible to any frost. Right, I've come into the man cave because it's probably freezing out there and it's, I think it's starting to snow as well. So I can't be bothered to be filming outside in the snow. So I've got some plans for this. This will be going in... Do I put it in in the next video? January. I'm going to wait till the new year now and then play around with this and do a little bit of experimenting with it. The fuck will be sitting to one side now. Shan't be using that now till spring. I think we've got a little bit left in the other tub. Um, so, <laughs> there's one more thing to say to you. Chestnuts roasting on my garage fire. Cheesy oat cakes on the grill. <laughs> my covers are on and my filters wash through. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> and on that bombshell, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, click the like, subscribe, ding the bell for notification, and share to all your friends all over the world. Thanks very much for watching. This was Cord Pod Lifestyle. <laughs>